Specto Chocolatum. Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back with CAC and today we're going to be doing a Harry Potter special. Uh, I've been onto a few websites and uh, located a few different goodies. Um, so I've gotten hold of a bunch of Harry Potter treats. Um, I haven't gone for the obvious uh, every flavoured beans, namely because they're just jelly bellies and you know you can get them pretty much everywhere. Um, like there's the regular flavours and there's also the weird ones which are pretty much the ones in the Bean Boozled Challenge. Um, so I'm just going to completely skip those because you can find those anywhere. Uh, I'm going to move on to um, a few things that, well, we probably really don't get uh, very often. So let's take a look at what I have in my bag. Okay, so we have chocolate frogs, jelly slugs, gummy creatures, chocolate wand, and butterbeer. Okay, so I'm going to go with the uh, gummy creatures first of all. This one appears to be Hedwig, I think. You can just about see it there. Uh, it says there are combination flavours. This one looks like probably lime orange. So let's open it up. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely smells very citrusy. Pop it out. It's got sort of like the newspaper print on the back there. Okay, so let's pop off this wing. Sorry, Hedwig. There you go. Oh, God, it's quite tough. Oh, it doesn't want to break. Look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very thick, chewy, gummy, kind of like um, wine gum kind of texture. Yeah, and that is the uh, lime orange. Um, mm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell the flavours apart because I, I suppose they're just kind of uh, blended, but mm, it's quite nice. I'm not a big fan of citrus, but, you know, it's sweet it's nice it's uh, typical gummy so yeah quite enjoyable so, yeah that's your gummy creatures and now we've just got the one winged hedwig now okay next is the chocolate frog uh, which says it has the collectible wizard card inside much like the, uh, the story itself don't know if it has any filling of any kind so We'll see when we get into it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, so we've got uh, Godric Gryffindor there. Can't really see, but it does move. It's just not showing up very well on me. So yeah. Got a nice little collectible there. And then we've got the uh, frog itself. There it is. So let's give it a give it a bite. See what it's like. got um, crispy crunchies inside, little rice puffs. Chocolate itself is quite nice as well, rather rich and creamy, but not too sweet. So yeah, nice that one. Okay, uh, next up, the uh, jelly slugs. I don't know what they're gonna be like, whether they're gonna be like the other gummy animal or something different. Flavours are on the back. We've got juicy pear, sour cherry, tangerine, watermelon, and banana. <laughs> banana slug, of course. So um, let's take a look. Oop, pop them open, nice and easy. Ooh, there we go. Mm, yeah, and they smell very strong. Like as soon as you open, they look almost kind of like slippers. <laughs> but, um, let's give them a taste. Mm. Very nice and sweet, but it doesn't taste that much like banana. It just tastes like sugar, mainly. There is a bit of taste in there. Um, consistency, they're like jelly babies, basically. Mm. 
button. Yep, essentially just jelly babies, but they are nice. Flavors are good. Oh, they don't have any cherry, which are my favorite. Typical. So, uh, which one is this? I think this one's pear. Ooh. Don't like that one. Now that one's not very nice. Just checking that they haven't gone out of date, and no, they haven't. So, um, yeah, not a fan of that one. Try the uh, tangerine. Tangerine's nice, but there only seem to be those three flavours in there. They haven't got the watermelon or the cherry, which is a bit disappointing. But, um, yeah, the banana's nice, the tangerine's nice, but I'm not a fan of the pear. The pear was quite bitter and plain. So, um, yeah, I guess the slugs are a little bit hit and miss. Um, probably not something I'd buy again, to be honest. But, uh, they're okay. Okay, uh, next treat we've got is the chocolate wand. Um, I've got uh, Dumbledore's one there, but you can get uh, Ron, Hermione's, and Harry's ones as well. Uh, but this was the first one that I spotted, so... Oop, there we go. Open it up. Ooh, the packaging is really nice. Ooh. Spells and charms, there we go, so you can wave your wand in these particular patterns to cast your spells if you're a bit of a potterhead there. So yeah, that's a nice little uh, extra that goes with it. Oh no, it's broken! Oh, what a shame. But uh, apart from that, I was about to say how uh, nice it looked, but unfortunately bit of a chunk has come out of it but uh, oh well we were gonna bite into it anyway but um, yes you can see it's even inscribed with little runes on the side there that's very nice but um, let's take a bite see what it tastes like hmm. it's quite nice Yep, nice, sweet, generic chocolate, I suppose you could say. Like, um, it's basically like uh, Easter egg chocolate. <laughs> but it's nice, it's crisp. Yep, nothing particularly special, but as I say, nice little treat and is really nicely made. So yeah, it's um, it's a good little gift for a Potter fan. Okay, and finally, I'm going to come on to the uh, butter beer, uh, which is non-alcoholic, of course. And this one isn't an official um, Harry Potter themed snack, well, drink, but um, it is obviously inspired by Harry Potter, um, which is apparently provided by the Flying Cauldron to students at Hogsbreath. So, um, you know. The um, no copyright version, I suppose. But um, it looks very nice, you know, nice little um, label on it. Looks very authentic. Ooh, let's just try and pop the uh, ooh, cap off. The uh, bottle cap as well looks very nice. So, uh, oh yes, that uh, butterscotch smell as soon as you open it is lovely. So let's uh, give it a sip, see what it's like. It's very odd. Uh, cream soda isn't really a thing over here. Um, I don't know, it's, it's just something that's never really been marketed or sold here, but... Um, 
it's a nice, sweet, creamy flavour, and well, obviously it's cream soda, but, you know, it's not what you'd expect from a clear drink. But yeah, it has that nice caramelly, toffee flavour to it. It's very sweet. Um, I. It's uh, sort of like toffee and vanilla caramel sort of flavour, and it is really nice. It might take a little bit to get, to get used to, because it's a lot sweeter than like most soft drinks that I'm used to, but mm. it's not bad. It's a nice little treat. And um, again, as I say, if you're a fan of Harry Potter, it might just complete the um, theme that you're going for if you're having some of these snacks. So uh, yeah, check it out. Um, all of uh, these snacks shown uh, in this video are f mostly from Aunt Amy's uh, website uh, that specializes in American snacks. They have a special section for Harry Potter. Um, some of them were from other sites. Excuse me. There we go. That's the soda. Um, from other websites um, such as Candy Hero. Um, I'll provide links to these and put them in the credits. Um, and there were other Harry Potter themed snacks out there such as the four house crests in chocolate um, or chocolate creatures but they all have the same sort of elements to it being either jelly gummy or chocolate so I imagine all the chocolates would taste the same and there are other things um, but they're mostly sourced from the uh, Warner Brothers shop when they do the uh, Warner Brothers studio tour and they are quite expensive to get a hold of and again they mostly just follow the same theme of popping candy in chocolate. Um, I remember when the Harry Potter movies first came out they used to do all sorts of different candies like fizzing whizbies uh, which were basically like little sherbet bombs and you bit into them and they just kind of fizzed out on your tongue but unfortunately they don't seem to do those anymore and I can't source them which would have been you know an interesting variation on the chocolate 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 theme but uh, never mind I think um, I've covered most of the different variation types of Harry Potter stuff so um, as I say if you're a bit of a fan or you know someone who's a bit of a fan and you might be looking for a bit of a gift set to buy them then any one of these would probably be a nice little alternative treat to just you know chocolate so um, yeah go check them out for yourself and if you're interested uh, pick them up from the websites as they will be listed and uh, thank you for joining me Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.